All right, hi everybody. It is my way in. Um, it is Thursday, May the 16th, I believe, and this is pretty much the, I've got five days off, and uh, this is uh, probably the only time I'm going to get a chance to do this, so I'm doing it now. As you can see, I'm still wearing my foot brace. I am not having luck in that department, that is for sure. Um, it is quite, uh, quite the pain in the rear. And I will do a video and explain that to, for you, um, because it is uh, quite frustrating. Okay, 256.6. So I am going down, that's a good thing. Uh, it's really, really hard. More to come. Hi everyone and happy Thursday. It is Thursday here in Canada before a long weekend. Uh, Monday is Victoria Day for our uh, previous queen, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, I have done a weigh-in for myself because I have um, the next five days off um, and I am going to enjoy it. So I'm, this is my one and only time to get this video done and I'm so sorry, but I have had so many things going on. Work has been absolutely insane. Um, I had car trouble, my skylight leaked, I had an ant infestation under my sink. It's just been one bloody thing after the other after the other. So enough about that. Uh, getting to weight loss, I gained a ton of weight. I gained like 10 pounds, um, uh, over 10 pounds probably. Um, I was uh, around, I guess, the beginning of April, I was 261.3. Um, I'm down to 256, I think, right now. Um, Alan and I have both been really suffering um, with injuries. Uh, he has two meniscal tears in both of his knees. Um, it, it, the swelling is unbelievable. If he does anything, the tiniest thing, the thing is just swollen. He's limping around. Um, he's in a great deal of pain, and it's very hard to watch. He also has plantar fasciitis in one foot, and that's making it so much worse. So the poor guy is really suffering. Um, on my end of things, my meniscal tear in my left leg has acted up since I've been exercising, and my um, posterior tendon tibialis dysfunction in my right leg and foot um, has never stopped um, being a problem. Um, I stopped going to physiotherapy um, for a number of reasons. Financially, one, um, also because I didn't find that it was helping me all that much. And when I did go and get the ultrasound and her work on it and whatever, I was laid up for about two weeks after. So it was really, um, I didn't find that it was um, helping me to go to physio. The exercises that they gave me, um, do help. Um, I did slack off on them. I, you know, I'm probably the the cause of my own problem by so doing. Um, but I'm back doing them and uh, slowly but surely getting back into shape. And I have to tell you, for anybody who has an injury and is trying to lose weight, um, it's really hard. And you know, because <laughs> people have suggested some things to me. Okay, a I can't swim in a public pool because I get bladder infections every time I swim in one. I have to end up on a lot of medication. The medication makes me even sicker. I, I don't do it. So I can't swim in a public pool. And I did try, and I was trying to be motivated to do, like, you know, floor work kind of stuff. And I'm going to tell you the truth. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. So um, I gave up. I lacked motivation entirely. I couldn't care less. I was eating and drinking everything in sight. We had some fun with that, but alas, when you have that fun, you also have that weight gain. Um, so we're getting back into the swing of things slowly. Um, he's still injured, so I, I really don't want him to do... Um, he's badly injured, so I don't want him to do anything that's going to, to hurt it. So I'm trying to figure out some stuff that we can do um, that isn't going to hurt him so bad. Me, every time I do do something, it flares up and I'm limping around. So I still haven't quite figured it out. Um, the eating we've got down pat, um, we're eating really well um, and following that. Uh, it's the exercise portion that's presenting a bit of a problem for us. Um, however, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. I've been looking at different DVDs that are uh, low or no impact uh, workouts for us because any of that pounding, which I find is the thing that really I lose weight, the, the really heavy cardio 
kind of workouts um, really helps me to lose weight, but unfortunately right now I can't do it and I've got to accept it, so we're looking at different things like yogas and that type of thing that we can do. Although both of us hate yoga, so I don't know what we're going to do. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for great DVDs that really aren't going to impact a knee, don't involve a lot of squatting, because if he, we did one DVD and it involved squatting, he was laid out for a week. Um, and jumping, because jumping I can't do. I, neither can he, really. So uh, if you have any DVD suggestions on that, I'd like to hear it. And um, we're trying to get back on track. I know that a lot of people have been struggling. Um, I know that a lot of people have gained, and uh, Mike and Khalif and um, a few other people have lost their motivation and lost their way and that kind of thing, but are back now, and it's really good to see. And I feel you because I'm in the same boat, um, and I think we'll get there. It's just a matter of figuring it all out and having the time and, you know, energy to do it, really, because, you know, life gets in the way. Work and, you know, stuff with your house and stuff you have to do and car trouble and this and that, and it just gets in the way. And I have to really get myself back on track and get focused and get back to the losing part of things um, because I was doing very well, and it's really a shame to see that I not only gained it all back but gained more. And now I have to start from scratch and go back again. So it's a little dejecting, but what are you going to do? It's life. And, I, you know, I had some fun along the way, so I'm not going to complain too much. So uh, I'm doing Angie's 21-day uh, no junk food challenge, which I actually am finding harder than I thought because we have late nights at work and, you know, you get a little craving or whatever. And it's really hard to find something quick in the neighborhood um, that's healthy. Uh, I've packed lunches or you know, snacks and that type of thing. And sometimes, again, you get really busy. I've worked late the night before, come home at 10 or 11 at night, and then didn't, you know, think to make lunch or pack snacks or anything like that. But I have to get better on the prep stuff. I've always sucked on the prep stuff. Um, and I've seen Jamie, who's really good at the prep stuff, um, and quite a few other people who are really good at the prep stuff. And so good on you. I'm learning from you guys. And we'll get there. That's all I can say. Uh, onwards and upwards. It is a beautiful long weekend. I think you have a long weekend too in the States. Um, I think you have Memorial Day maybe. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But happy long weekend to you and to my fellow Canucks. We call it the May 2-4 weekend. 2-4 being the, the size of a case of beer. So um, we really don't care about the Queen. Well, I don't care about the Queen. Some people care about the Queen, but I couldn't care less about the Queen. Um, <laughs> so I call it the 2-4 weekend and I'm going to enjoy the May 2-4 weekend. I'm not a beer drinker. But, you know, I might have a wobbly pop here or there. Anyways, uh, lots to do this weekend. So I love you all. Thanks for all your support and looking forward to getting there with you. And congratulations to all those who I have seen. And I still watch. I'm still watching. I'm still commenting. Um, so to congratulations to all of you who are still losing. And I love you all.